Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Colette and if this is your first time here, you're most welcome. And if you're coming back to watch another one of my videos, thank you. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of my yes oh yes for the month of October as well as the month of November. They reached out to me over on Instagram asking if I would be interested in trying out their subscription service and so now I have this bag to unbox with you guys and try on. Um, the bag I think is $14.99 a month and with shipping it's around like $19 a month which is not bad at all. You get full size products in this subscription service and it could be it could and it could be um three to seven products each month I de it depends on the pricing of the products and the type of products that you do get in your bag each month it comes looking like this so this bag right here is the october bag and all the products are in there i have been using the products in the october bag so i know what's already in here and then fresh and new to me yesterday i got the november bag i decided that i'm just gonna put both of them together because the last month was crazy and i just didn't get to do the unboxing of this bag so i'll leave the link down below with any other information about this bag the listings and the price of the products as well down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you are interested so the first thing we have in the bag for October we did get to the card with the bag it looks like this and then on the back it just lists the products and the prices one of the products that I got in my bag last month was the scone smoky eye brush so this is what it looks like it's super soft and it's just a nice brush for any detail work that you'd like to do i typically would like to use brushes like this for putting high, a highlight shade on my inner corners or on my brow bones the next item that we have here is the city limits eyeshadow palette by the brand iby beauty and this is what it looks like it comes with a decent sized mirror here the next thing that i got in the bag which was more of a something that i was just not really excited about last month was the ncla los angeles nail polish and i've been drinking and this is just something that i would want in a makeup subscription bag it's just i would rather maybe a, a lip product or um another brush versus a nail polish but that's just my personal preference the shade is really nice though and i did use it on my nails and it was really nice it coated it really well it's just a typical nail polish which is nice and the color is wearable at least so the next thing i got is by the brand marabella and it is a cream eyeshadow in the shade charmed uh, once it dries down it does not move so that's really nice most times cream cream eyeshadows you find that they don't really dry down the last thing that we got in october's bag is the stick cosmetics lipstick in the shade rose yeah in the shade rose and this is what it looks like the packaging is very interesting it's not your typical um lipstick packaging the color however is just not something that works really well for me it's just not my personal taste that's everything from last month's bag now let's move over to the november bag so this is what the november bag looks like it's a lot more packed than last month's bag so let's get in there and see what we have so the first thing that i'm seeing on top right here is the scone no i'm sorry that's wrong sorme and sorme treatment cosmetics and it's the brow lift brow highlighting pencil and let's see what it looks like it's in the shade 30 white um yeah more okay so whoa that's incredibly light um i don't typically like shades that are this light under my brows so we'll have to see how that works out the next thing that we have in here is this brush is a brush by the brand crown brushes and it's the bk40 oval shadow brush um, it's a nice soft brush it feels really soft and very sturdy in the hand i like that about brushes i like brushes overall i like getting brushes in subscription service this one however i just have been running my hand across it even though it's soft i am getting a little bit of shedding 
So I have to see how that goes as I use it to see how much it sheds. I knew I know that once brushes are new, they do tend to lose a few hairs here or there. So it's nothing for me to like be too sad about. It still feels super dense and soft. So I don't know. This is probably something that I would use for more defined work. It just seems a little bit large for the eyes, but we'll try it out and see what I will find good use for it with the next thing that i have here is by the brand beauty creations and it's the unicorn the unicorn tears liquid highlighter okay this also looks like something that will will be you know more of an adventure for me but this is what it looks like all right so let's open this So I finally got that off and I'm going to shake it up a little just to see, but let's, whoa, do it. It's kind of thick. All right. So that's what it looks like. I would have preferred something more golden like, or even has more of a yellow tone. This is very like this would be very ashy on me i just can't see this as a highlight it's very pretty it's just not something i think i'd be able to get a lot of use out of okay so the next thing that i pulled out of the bag this is also by the brand marabella um this is the glow so i'm guessing it's a highlighter yes it's the swirly color radiant highlighter by the brand marabella this is what it looks like comes in a nice sturdy packaging i like the packaging this half of it here is like a more pinky toned highlight and then as you come down it gets a little bit more golden so it's really pretty and i'm excited to see how this works out on my face i'm kind of nervous but we'll have to see how it swatches and how it shows up on my skin tone so the card that came in there this month was girls can and that's what that looks like and like last month it also has the products and the pricing on the back okay so the last thing we have in here is this it's quite heavy and quite thick it's by the brand Aesthetica and it's their contour series lip it's their contour series lip that's that's all this is okay let me just put all of this packaging It looks like it's like a lip palette, like a lipstick palette, which I'm thinking it is. Oh, it comes with, what is this? Contour series lip. Okay, so it comes with like a nice thick like pamphlet card that shows you how you could use the palette, which is pretty cool if you're somebody that's new to makeup and you get this or you've never seen anything like this before, you get like a guide as to how to use it or you know the different ways you can use it which is nice all right so that's nice now let's see what's actually in here so it comes with a um little sleeve and then once we pull the sleeve off it opens oh it has like a nice mirror so it opens and it looks something like this when you open it once you pull the plastic off i haven't seen it yet so this is what it looks like and it looks like you get six cream lipsticks and then you get two two double you get two double ended lip liners and i really don't know what this is it looks like it's a lip brush i'm hoping it's a lip brush because that would make more sense being in a lip kit yeah, i'm right it is a lip brush oh it was very so it's a small little lip brush that you can use to apply the products interesting so this is the first lip liner it's dual ended now let's watch this one oh that's a bright barbie pink but that's super creamy oh i like that brown okay i'm gonna get a lot of use out of that one so that's all four of the lip liners swatched i hope you guys could see that so the total value of october's box was 116 dollars and the total value of november's box was 145 
dollars so yeah so that's everything we got in the box so let's go ahead and try on some of these products on the face
Okay guys, this is the final look that I was able to create using most of the products that I got in the bag. I like the eyeshadow palette, I like the cream eyeshadow, I really liked getting a brush and even though this was not my favorite product, I'm glad I got a shade that I could actually use. And then when it came to November's box, even though this shade is not something that I can use on an everyday basis, I'm glad that I can use it for other things like I did in the video. I used it on my lids and in my inner corner and it worked out pretty great. So I I know that this is something that I can use in different ways not just as a highlighter so I'm actually okay with this I liked getting the highlighter I also like getting the brush the brushes were nice and the lip product was really nice I love the way everything applied. I think everything was pretty good and I'm super excited to see what we'll get in the next bag but if you guys are interested in it again I ha i'll leave all the information down below in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check it out if you, if you guys want to see more videos like this from me then definitely go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe if you guys want to continue to see more content from me i really appreciate the people that have already subscribed to my channel and have come back to watch my videos time and time again thank you guys so much and i really appreciate you there's a giveaway coming soon as soon as we hit 100 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway on my channel to just thank you guys for being here so I do appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye